Recently, Phil's kicked off a new series on Move IQ interviewing people in property. But today, the tables are turning, and I'm going to be interviewing the property expert, broadcaster, voiceover artist that is Phil Spencer. Phil, welcome. So this is a little different. So Phil, mm. if I asked anyone who's male and talks a lot about property on the TV, I reckon nine out of 10 people would say- Martin Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I think they would say the legendary property guru, Phil Spencer. How did Move IQ come about? Move IQ came about, well, my history was home finding and that was my previous business, Garrington. Um, and back then, I looked after a fairly small number of people and charged them quite a high percentage. And it was a very, very hands-on, personal, bespoke advisory service. And I always believed that at some point, technology would enable much of that hand-holding during somebody's search and negotiation and purchase. But technology would enable that level of advice to be offered to a wide number of people. And we are now there. I can reach a large number of people and, and give them a, a ton of helpful advice. So that was, that was where the kind of the, the ambition came from. It's doing very well. I mean, Ask Phil Move IQ series, you get inundated with question after question. What's the most popular thing you get asked? Where does Kirsty buy her shoes? <laughs> <You're joking. laughs> no, seriously. Um, I think people sometimes ask very specific questions like, "Where's good to buy at the moment?" Or, you know, that's an impossible question to, to answer. A lot of the questions and a lot of my advice centres around the brief and focusing somebody's brief. In order to know that you found the right one, you've got to know what you're looking for. And you, you don't, you know, buying a house is the biggest shopping expedition of your life. When you go looking for a dress, you, you've, you've got in your mind's eye, that's what I'm looking for. And then when you see it, you go, that's it. And, yeah. and, and it's a confident, clear decision. And, it's and you don't mind property. spending your money. Mm. Actually, that's the, that's the result that you're trying to get to with the property that you walk in. That's what I want. You need to know your market. You need to know the types of properties and the values of properties as, as much as you possibly can. You simply can't do that over a wide area. What do you think the biggest challenges are for a first-time buyer? It's got to be saving for a deposit, really, hasn't it? Um, banks nowadays are requiring ever larger levels of deposits, and the cost of living is rising, and the cost of rents are rising. So um, unless you're living at home, it's becoming increasingly hard to save enough for a deposit. And it's very hard to buy a property these days for those first-time buyers. Yeah, it is extremely hard. So Phil, I know you're a very busy man and you have fingers and lots of pies. <laughs> What's um, a typical day for Phil Spencer? Ooh. <laughs> a day in the life. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure there is such a thing, to be honest, Kat. Um, I have a great deal of variety. I'm blessed by lots of variety. And some days that stresses me out because I'm trying to do too many things in too many different places. And sometimes I think, well, actually, I wouldn't want it any other way. Y you're right. I'm involved in lots of, lots of, of different things. but. Um, I'm very fortunate that I enjoy my work. I generally do enjoy it. I get a big kick out of it. Filming days tend to be um, fairly intensive, 8.30 till kind of 6.30. Um, it slightly depends on which series I'm working on at any given time. I try and do one series at a time, but um, a lot of this year I'm filming both location, location and love it or list it. At the same time, I'm trying to weave in um, a series of stately homes Mm -hmm. um, as well as a series of Britain in a hundred homes, so it will. It at certain times it gets quite, um, yeah. quite busy. Quite the diary. busy and quite hectic. hectic. Um, and of course, I can't film those series from anywhere near home because they all involve travel. Um, so certainly, I, I at t certain times of the year, I um, I spend more time in hotels than I do yes. at home. And that's the that's the rigors of the job. Yeah. Simply that I do need to get around the country, but at the same time, it's also one of the. Um, joys every, of the job is that I get to see the whole country. I, I really do. And every day is different. Every day is different. Well, on a non-filming day, um, there are such things. Then I'm concentrating on, on Move IQ business uh, and doing the Ask Phil's and, and just trying to get as much kind of advice and help as I can out there for people. So aside from the Move IQ and all the other 
millions of programmes that you do, what else is in the pipeline? Um, well, there, there's going to be a busy year. We've got another series of location, location. I don't know what series, it's probably 26 or something <laughs> like that. Crikey. Um, starting this year, uh, just after Easter, and we're also starting series five of Love It or List It at that point. Um, further down the track in the autumn, I, I'm hoping to do some more stately homes, which is my absolute kind of joy. Joy. Uh, mm. Bossman's Holiday, that is. Um, and the, the series Britain in 100 Homes is currently showing up. Oh, I love that. Yeah. More for at the moment. Um, so we kind of see how that tracks before Channel 4. It was you trying to get goals. into that priest hole that made me yes, laugh. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze, <laughs> squeezing in. You are quite tall and you yeah. managed yes, to I get do. in there. Kirsty's I mean, <laughs> house in Devon has a couple of priest holes. That's, that's uh, yes, really... I've squeezed into them as well. Wow, well, you carry on with your squeezing into priest holes. <laughs> 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 it's, it was nice talking to you today. And you, thank you. Yeah.